Hi everyone, my name is Dheeraj Sahagal, Director of Product Marketing at Tintree, and I'm here to talk to you about Tintree VM Scaleout. Let me walk you through a user case scenario here. Suppose a infrastructure admin or a cloud admin has a bunch of Tintree all flash storage systems in his data center, and he has pooled these systems uh, to perform resource optimization and load balancing of VMs, which are growing at a pretty healthy clip rate. The growth can be attributed to many reasons that there is a new software development team which is pushing new features out into the market uh, for the company to capture new market or basically outcompete the competitors out there. In such an environment, as you know, developers are working on different aspects of the project. Not all the VMs on which they are operating or even the containers are going to be the same. Some of these VMs are going to be big, heavy, large, or some of them are going to be very lightweight. In such a heterogeneous environment, the ops team and DevOps or the infrastructure admin has to make sure that the Tintree all flash storage systems basically do the resource optimization and the load balancing of the VMs across the infrastructure. Let's get started with the demo. I'm at the Tintree Global Center login portal. I'm going to log in and you can see the VM scale out is under the pools category. Um, so under pools, when I go in, you'll see that we have a production pool and uh, there are five VM stores uh, within that uh, production pool and they have approximately 2,683 virtual machines. And these virtual machines are of different sizes. Uh, some of them are lightweight as I pointed out and some of them are uh, heavy depending upon uh, the developer environment and how they are using or consuming the infrastructure. The pool itself also provides you a little bit more information in regards to how much uh, IOPS are being delivered through the uh, entire uh, set of VM stores, what is the throughput, uh, what are the performance reserves available uh, for the team, and then also the space remaining. But as you can see, there is a recommendation panel, and that's what we are interested in in regards to how dynamically um, the VM scale out helps the admins in regards to uh, load balancing and resource optimization on the back end for their developers as uh, they are uh, using it heavily in regards to the capacity and the performance. What you can see in, uh, in the recommendations, what I have got is uh, a timeline for the history and I will basically go to the last one where I am in 517, I can see that it's giving me the current issues, recommendations, and outcomes. In regards to the current issues, uh, what I have is uh, that there is a 5080, uh, which is our all flash array. It has uh, experience in regards to the heavy load. And then uh, I have uh, other systems which are in danger of running out of the space here, 5060 or T880, which is experiencing high latency this week. Within that frame, you can see I'm getting the recommendations like how to alleviate this problem. And uh, the recommendation here is that five VMs from 880 should be moved. And where it will be moved, it basically tells you also about the destination. It's the 820s, 650s, or 820s. I can even create or customize these actions from migrate to non-migrate or whatever it is because I want to keep my profiles going. And then as we move forward, it's also looking at the entire resource pool and saying, okay, there has to be one VM which has to be migrated or 5080. The interesting point here is like, as we are looking at this as the entire pool, the recommendation is to move this VM to the 880, which is already experiencing the, uh, the heavy load. Uh, so the sequence of events here is that migrate five VMs from 880 and also migrate a VM to 880 because it's the entire pool for which we are worried about, the IOPS, the throughput, the performance. And in the recommendation panel, uh, the outcomes, what we get is that, okay, what is going to happen, right? And you can see 5080, um, the space usage will remain unchanged, but the chance of triggering alert will be less than 1%. Uh, the heavy load will go away uh, and in 880 even the space will increase because we are going to move and VM from 5080 to 880 
uh, it's going to still uh, have a chance which is less than 1% for an alert to trigger. And then ATT is going to have a moderate uh, load less than 5.1% of the week. You don't need to do anything on the back end here. Uh, what you will need to do is just go and press the uh, start the execution or hit the execution button and that's pretty much uh, will start the process and it will dynamically uh, go and uh, do the resource optimization and load uh, balancing within the system with this uh, 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 VMs move to their locations which are recommended by the engine. That's pretty much it. That's the power of this tool. Uh, as you can see that you can get a snapshot in regards to what is happening and at different point of time, what were the issues, what are the recommendations and what will be the outcomes. And you just need to press the status button and that's pretty much uh, will give you the entire uh, outcome of the solution. As virtual machines are moved around, the QoS and the data protection policies will follow them. Even if you have 500 VMs, these policies will stick to them individually. Even if when you grow them to the 5,000 VMs, these policies will remain as such. So you will never need to go back and touch or redo anything here. If you're curious to go even faster in regards to the load balancing or resource optimization, you may want to watch Tomer Hege's video about VM scale out offload technology. Thanks for watching.